Hi friends. So uh, welcome to our Sea Water Properties Lab. Um, as you have probably hopefully already completed a majority of the lab, hopefully the first 10 pages, um, you have seen how seawater temperatures and seawater salinities have varied throughout. Oh, I guess we've really only looked at seawater temperatures, but now we're also going to look at um, seawater density and how that can vary between ocean to ocean. Ideally, we would be doing this in class. It would be a nice, fun, hands-on sort of lab where we get to play with fun little instruments and water samples and things of that sort. But in this online environment, we have to kind of uh, improvise a little bit. So that's what's happening today. So what I've done is I have created three water samples. Um, they're three different colors. I've got blue, red, and green. And what I will do is measure their specific gravity and measure their temperature. And then you will use that TD map, that uh, chart, excuse me, that is on the very last page of the lab and to determine the salinity of each sample. So what I'll be using here is called a hydrometer. And it is this lovely little piece of glass, very thin glass, so pray I don't break it, um, that has a little bit of lead here oop, at the bottom. And then it has all these lines on it and numbers with those corresponding lines. So notice at the very top here, it says 1.0 line 00. So these numbers here that I will indicate um, will tell us that the specific gravity is 1.0, say it lands like right here, so it'd be 1.020, things like that. Um, and then I will also be using a standard thermometer, which is in degrees Celsius, has a fun little blue situation here. So for each sample, I will read out a temperature and a specific gravity. Um, and then I also have just a fun sample that I think I showed in lab, but if you missed it, um, we will have a look at what that is. So let's begin. <sighs> Too little <dispar. laughs> Okay. So I kind of just want to first demonstrate how the hygrometer works just in general. So here I have a sample of just plain water, no salt, no nothing. So when I drop the hygrometer into it, that's how it kind of goes down a little bit and then it bounces up and then it kind of settles at a particular um, space. And to me, Oh, perfect. It settles at 1.0. And that is the density that we would anticipate for just pure water. And I'm actually going to scoot this up a little bit so it's a little bit closer to the camera here. So that's just kind of how the hydrometer works in general, just with plain straight up water. So now we're going to repeat this experiment, but with other water samples. So. I'll try and do these without making a mess. Lord knows that is not going to be the case, but I'll try my best. Okay, so we'll start here with this green sample. And I mixed it in jars so that I didn't make a big old mess. I will probably make a mess anyway. <laughs> but just so you also kind of know my methodology for this, I um, used a jar to measure out a thousand grams of water and then I put the corresponding salt content that I wanted for each sample. So for the green sample I have a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and a specific gravity of, I'm trying to find it without messing with it, a specific gravity of 1.024, or 1.024 with a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So 1.024 with a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Celsius, 1.024. Okay, next we have the I'll do the blue sample. Blue sample. Notice I have ice in there and a spoon. Let's not spill the spoon. <laughs> I have ice in there because I wanted to create a cold water sample. 
And you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't want the ice inhibiting my hydrometer. So I'm gonna try and, um, again, not spill this, but I'm gonna filter out the ice. Ooh, that's chilly. Okay, so try and filter around the same thing. So, what do we have this time? This time, we'll drop that hydrometer in. Does its little thing. Let that kind of settle. And let the thermometer do its thing as well. Do, 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 do. Thermometer is still going down, but the specific gravity, so we can get that in order. Specific gravity looks like it is. Sorry, hang on, sorry. Thermometer is still doing its thing. All right, so the temperature, I think it's finally stopped. The temperature is about five degrees Celsius. So five degrees Celsius with a specific gravity of 1.03. The annoying thing with this is since water has such a high surface tension, it's hard to tell whether it's at three or 0 0.29. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. So I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, yeah, let's actually do 1.029. So five degrees Celsius, 1.029. 1.029, five degrees Celsius. So now, lastly, let's have a look at our red sample. So when I did this last semester, I tried to be fun and do like a nice hot sample, not realizing that our temperature scale on the table only goes up to 30 degrees. So I had made like a 42 degree um, sample and it was, not, so it's like, what the heck? I was, can't even find it. So that was my bad. So hopefully this one works out a little bit better. So what I tried to do, if I didn't say this before, I'll say it now. What I tried to do is emulate um, different ocean basins and the various salinities that exist there. So maybe a fun little thing would be to try and figure out which ocean basin I was attempting to um, re-look uh, at. Okay, so I got 27 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, so it cooled down three degrees since I last looked at it. So 27 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, with a specific gravity of um, 1.025, 1.025 grams per milliliter. So once again, I got 20 degrees Celsius uh, with a specific gravity of 1.024, it's my green sample. For blue, I got five degrees Celsius with 1.029 specific gravity grams per milliliter. And then for my red, it's 27 degrees Celsius with 1.025 grams per milliliter. So there's that. What I also wanted to show just for funsies, is obviously, as you can tell, I like being cheeky sometimes. So what I did is I have created a water sample to be like that of the Dead Sea. And if you're familiar with the Dead Sea, it is the saltiest place on earth. I know we all thought your girlfriend was the saltiest place on earth, but here we are. So the 
Though I think the Dead Sea might be a bit warmer than room temperature. But I tried, tried to create the salinity of the Dead Sea, which is a whopping 34%. Insane. Comparing that to the average density of the oceans, which is 3.5%, that's a whole order of magnitude salt here. So just look at what happens when I drop the hydrometer in. Boop! Boop! <laughs> right? It doesn't even read it. It is so dense that it um, completely floats on top of that. The Dead Sea, by the way, is also so salty that you can float on top of it without any floating mechanisms at all. So it's kind of a fun, weird little space. Um, not a lot of things can live there, but there is life there, I believe. And so I'm like a planet Earth or an owl planet, something like that. And then people do some art there as well. Um, there was someone who dips pieces of like clothing or something into the water and leaves it there for a little while, and it ends up crystallizing on the material, which can then create a lovely piece of art. So, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope that this makes a bit of sense. If you need any help filling out the TD um, chart, please reach out and let me know. And otherwise, have a delightful rest of your day. Wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face. Bye, y'all.